Hi everyone, I am Y. Siva Prasad, working as an associate professor in CAC department, Guntur Engineering College. In this class, we are going to discuss about software architecture in the future, in software architecture and design, paper, uh, design pattern subject. Software architecture in future. Already you know what is software architecture, but how it will be there in the future, we need to have a wild guess. You know about evolution of programming languages. Already everyone knows about levels of languages, low level, mid level and high level language. In the low level language, mid level language, we have concentrated on block coding, which is used to interact with the hardware components. So it was a tedious process. Next we have high level language which consists of procedure oriented languages as well as object oriented programming languages. So object oriented programming language is little bit better than procedure oriented languages but still nowadays people are using this uh, object oriented programming languages. In the programming languages are also nowadays we are expecting natural languages. A language which looks like a natural language you need not to bother about syntax and you need not to bother about semantics just we want to specify what you want automatically it will give the solution so in the block code or connectivity physical proximity in one another is knitted with the branching and state branching and looping statements so already you know about C language branching statements and looping statements so we are not satisfied with the present scenario. Always human beings want to have betterment in their life. So people have not satisfied with uh, low level. They have developed mid level. Mid level is not satisfied. Next one is high level. Not satisfied with the high level. They are planning for natural languages. In the same way in the project architecture also. We are interesting in Agile manufacturing or agile development team simply you call it as agile teams agile team means the team consists of group of people but this group of people are able to work individually self-responsibility self-organization is very very important just have a look at the picture traditional teams one team leader or one project manager is controlling the remaining people whereas in the agile teams each and every person is acting as a peer. Everyone is taking the self-responsibility. So coordination and controlling is on the equality basis. Automatically, the quality of the project will be uh, improved. And the project is able to deliver with less cost, less time and high quality. That's why even in the manufacturing section also, uh, automobile industry or other uh, production systems, they are also focusing on Agile manufacturing system. A manufacturing or a development strategy which gives quick response with high quality with the minimum cost. So you call it as Agile teams or Agile development scenario. So the future of the, arch the future architecture will have Agile properties. Now at present what we are following? We are following architecture business cycle. Already we have considered architecture business cycle ABC in the first uh, first unit already we have discussed about ABC. We consider that ABC is having its four version. First one is simplest case in which one single organization creates a one single arch architecture for the single system. One small one organization is our organization has developed one arch architecture for one system that means it's like a one is to one is to one ratio means one system one architecture is serving only for one system and that one architecture is serving only for one product next a little bit enhanced one we call it as product line all in the previous class we have discussed about product line product line in the sense producing similar type of products with the minor variancy you call it as product line Already you, you know about various product lines in the softwares. One, one best example is operating system, Windows product line. So Windows 10, Windows 97 or previous models, all these things comes under product line. All these are operating systems developed by Microsoft organization 
almost they are having some majority of them are common features but with little variance little updations so even in java you consider java versions like that so they are releasing different uh, releasing next product next product with the minor variance you call it as versions or updated versions especially in the software it is well known with the version number whereas in the normal products like automobile they call it as next model so for example if you consider activa 3g activa 5g activa 6g like that you they call it as models whereas in the software field you call it as versions already you know java versions or something windows versions python versions various versions means they are, they are producing similar type of products with a little bit variance and they are calling it as next version or updated version you call it as product line the for that product line they have developed one architecture based upon that architecture they are releasing the new product or new versions that is next second model next third one community wide effort a standard architecture or a reference architecture is created from which large number of system flows based upon the architecture different types of softwares or large number of products ha have been developed so you call it as community wide efforts next last one fourth one is architecture becomes so prasvi prasvi in the sense whose impact is increasing wherever you go it follows for example you consider world wide web internet whatever the domain you consider every domain is affected by internet world wide web so that architecture is called as a parasvi architecture the future will be internet based applications whatever the application you see every application is associated with internet education domain or banking domain manufacturing domain like that next one is creating an architecture so we emphasize the quality requirements for for the system being built we follow some tactics to achieve that quality attributes i think everyone is familiar with the quality attributes what are the quality attributes already we have discussed quality attributes availability performance security usability testability all these are the quality attributes so we follow some tactics to achieve those quality attributes you call it as quality achieving quality attribute tactics all right in the previous classes we have discussed about quality attributes as well as tactics to follow to achieve the quality attributes and how these tactics were manifest manifested in the architecture and we need to move the quality remove this quality requirements to the architectural design because the architectural design serves as a foundation for the quality attributes so but uh, the quality attributes are not entirely depending upon architecture but at the same time these quality attributes are depending upon the architectural design that means architectural design is working like a basic platform basic foundation for achieving the quality attributes so how to move this quality requirements into the architectural design the design process still the design process the architectural design process is looking like an art but we need we needs to have some scientifically proven methods to enrich the architectural design process so what are the questions we need to ask to improve the design process some general questions what first the designer or the architect has to list the quality attributes and their scenarios and their tactics so what are the quality attributes they require what level of the quality they require because you, there cannot say only speed that speed should be measured in the same way they, they require usability availability like that they cannot say in the vague manner so we should give it in the specific manner so what level of speed they want to have so for this how much resources we require like that we need to have clarity about the quality attributes so we call it as quality attribute scenarios what are the technique tactics to be followed to complete these quality attributes so scenarios and tactics how can we match these tactics and scenarios together next one how the resulting 
result of this applying tactics can be predicted so in the achieving quality attributes without developing the architecture they must be in a position to predict the future of the system next what tactics to be combined into patterns in what format we need to combine them uh, what kind of tools support and can assist the design process what are the tools available how we can use these tools to improve the performance so like that they need to have uh, they need to ask various questions to improve their architectural design process in the future it plays very very important role now consider architecture within the life cycle so in the architecture within the life cycle we need to consider what documentation within the tool tool environment what software architecture within the configuration management system how to moving from the architecture to code level so on the architecture you may be specify what you want but we need to know how to achieve all those things through the coding system that also plays very very important role moving from architecture to code you can see first you need to have the idea about capabilities and availabilities of commercial components are growing rapidly already you have some idea about commercial of the shelf tools cots are of the shelf tools or ot of the shelf tools are commercial of the of the shelf tools so what are the tools available what are the ready made components available to build your system because already you know you need not to reinvent the wheel so whatever the modules already available ready madely we better use them so that we can reduce the time we can reduce the cost at the same time the already existing module has proved its performance so we can we can consider it as a error free just only the thing is how we can couple the existing module that may be developed by you or some other commercial organization you don't worry how the components can be fix into your system so if you are able to use the standard components we can reduce the cost we can reduce the time same time we can enhance the quality we can fulfill the delivery schedules so they, have, they must have clear idea about what are the tools available what are the commercial components available to fill their user requirements so the availability of domain specific architectures to be considered as nowadays we are having some idea about j2we and j2me you know J, j2we means java to enterprise edition in the same way for mobile applications what we are using j2me java to mobile edition in the app development you might have used this j2me in the enterprise wise applications you might have used j2we or else in the future you are going to use this j2we j2me etc like that what are the domain specific tools available in the architecture we need to have have some idea about this and now in the coming future we are going to get more number of domain specific tools if you consider python why python got that much familiarity so much architecture so much ready made components are available off the shelf components are available simply in the python we are using plug and play format we need to know what are the components you require and where these available for example if you consider nlp natural language processing some so many components are available just voice recognition system and for everything components are available just we need to pick up those components and attach it and install install it in your system and you need to utilize it next one the day is coming when the domain specific architectures and frameworks will be available for many today's common domains still now so much research is conducting on various domains to develop this uh, domain specific components as a result architect will be concerned as much with the more value the framework is very very important everyone is expecting greenfield designs okay in the future you may be getting more domain specific values almost you can develop the software like uh, playing the cubes so many cubical models we can use just you need to pick the components what you want and you are going to attach it as a single component thank you